And besides a super cheesy name, I so lit. What were you lit? Nah, we lit, but. Now we're gonna go and I'm gonna go finish my Modelo and tequila shots and I'm gonna probably get a couple more fucking tacos. What's going on Savages, CJ and Robert here and today is gonna be pretty cool because Robert and I are actually gonna try out the Isolit Protein for the first time. Now look, I know a lot of you guys are used to us in supplement reviews and all that. And this is gonna be like a modified review, okay? We're gonna be honest with you what we think about the flavor. We actually have not tried, well, I take that back. I've tried one of the flavors out of the three here and you've tried zero. I have not tried a single flavor yet. There's five in total. We've got three of them today that we're gonna try, so. Yeah, I'm really excited about it, but obviously we work for Primeval Labs, so you know, take that with a grain of salt, but we are gonna give our opinion on the flavor, okay? Yeah. We did another video where we're breaking down the ingredients, so we'll make sure and link to that and you guys can go check that out. But just really quick, what's like a brief overview of this product? Brief overview, each scoop's gonna be 33 grams. You're getting 135 calories per scoop, three grams of fat, two grams of carbs, 25 grams of protein. They're also getting 25 milligrams of a digestive enzyme blend. So the whey protein comes entirely from whey protein isolate. It's a high yield form of protein that offers 90% protein by mass, low in lactose, low in milk fats. Uh, so it's gonna be easy for digestion, rapid absorption, plus the digestive enzyme blend is gonna improve that absorption and the digestion, so better nutrient assimilation in your body. Yeah, and besides a super cheesy name, I so lit. What were you lit? Now nah, we lit, but uh, besides that, we actually are supposed to, these are supposed to be high end flavors, okay? Now that's interesting to me because when it comes to isolates and hydroways and all these high end forms, you start to sacrifice flavor. But my understanding is this, this shit tastes amazing. I sure hope so. Actually, it's got a big name to live up to with well, the flavor. Well, Anthony was literally like talking shit to me, like saying, like, it will be the best thing Ooh. you have ever. Now that could have been him saying it better be, or it could have been <laughs> <laughs> make that be confident. So here's what we're gonna do. We're actually gonna try these out. We got three flavors. We've got orange creamsicle, which I'm the most excited about because there was an old orange creamsicle flavor review that didn't go so well once with me. I and do so, remember that. <laughs> yeah, so really excited about that. We've got uh, diner vanilla. I'm, I don't know a lot about like diners really. Vanilla milkshake, man. It's just if you if you like vanilla milkshakes, you should we should like this. I feel like it should be just. served to me from like a lady with a cigarette in her mouth and like an apron. <laughs> but okay, <laughs> a Waffle House, uh, and then caramel latte. Okay, so we've got a uh, which apparently that's that's actually been a really popular one. Apparently, it's coffee think. flavor, man. It's it's like the Starbucks Frappuccino. Thing. Yeah, I think that's about six thousand grams of sugar. I saw Regan mix it in with his actual coffee in one of his. Videos. Mm. Yeah, we'll have to try that. All right, can we, what do we go in on first, man? Uh, orange cream sickle. Okay, orange cream sickle. This is our non-primeval shaker. Sorry, Anthony and Justin, if you're watching this, but uh, my ladies took my other one. I only had three, so yeah. What you think? Wow, it's really good. Really, really good. So we went with eight ounces of water, which is a recommended. And we also have this uh, water ice, so you want to go with cold water as well. Yep. Let me go in on a second little tasting, but it's cream. It's way creamier than you would expect from an isolate. Is Especially it? whenever you look at the powder, the powder in this is very fine. It's very... Um, yeah, it looks like you'd expect an isolate too. It's, mm -hmm. it's very, very fine texture. It's not going to be all cakey and clumpy, kind of like a casing. It's almost like your aminos, really. Yeah. I mean, it's very similar to that. All right. You, you tell me. I think it's good. I think what's funny is that the orange itself is subtle. The cream comes through even more so. Wow. Yeah. Um, it's you get heavy it's, cream, right? Yeah, you get it's definitely a very creamy, milky kind of taste to it. Um, which you didn't probably didn't know, and, and if Sandy was here, she would attest to this. I hate cream sickle, orange cream sickle, strawberry cream, peaches and cream, things like that. I despise that flavor. A long history of that. Just I they made an entire rap song, "Peaches and Cream." Did they really? That was it. Yeah. No, I don't know. <laughs> well, that's cr but, you, but that's okay. I actually enjoy this. Yeah, it's good. Oh. It's um, hmm. the orange is not. It's not overly astringent or too tart or anything. No, the cream no. balances out really. It, it's a very Pleasant, pleasant kind of taste. Yeah. yeah. Best way, I, I would say that it, you expect it to be more on the cream side than the orange side, in my opinion. Yeah. Which is good because when I was a kid, 
So I absolutely loved uh, orange creamsicle, but you aren't getting, when you're a fucking kid, you're not getting the popsicles like, yeah. man, I want that orange. No, <laughs> you want the shit in the middle, man. Like, and that's what, yeah. anyway, yeah. So, all right, cool. Let's, uh, let's go with diner vanilla next. Yeah, you go, you go with the original, you okay. you, you, you first. So this is the one he's the most excited about. Yes. Now vanilla is a notoriously like subpar flavor with companies. I already like it more than orange cream sickle. Okay. That's because I'm not that huge fan of an orange cream sickle. Yeah. This is good. This is good. Okay. I it's sweet. It doesn't have that artificially chemically kind of taste that vanilla has. Yeah. Um I'm getting a cooling kind of sensation on the back end, which sometimes happens with vanilla stuffs that are very um kind of like strongly flavored. Like you would think like a vanilla extract type, like how that's like a potent, like yeah. because that like exactly. cool. Yeah. yeah. Okay. What do you think about it? Let's see, let's see here. I don't know the difference between regular vanilla and diner vanilla, but I mean, if you've had like a rich vanilla milkshake, that's what you're gonna get with diner vanilla. That's the closest thing I can say to it. Wow, yeah, um, you know what? Wow, it's it's so funny you said that the cooling. Vanilla extract, it 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 has a true like almost like that vanilla extract. Like so I like to put um you know, if anybody knows vanilla extract is just a little bottle of yeah. you know stuff or whatever. I'll put it in my coffee sometimes. Mm -hmm. I love it. I, I it's got a little like a little punch to it that's yeah. nice. That's almost more of what I consider a true vanilla versus this fake vanilla which most people start to associate with. Yeah, it's got that candy kind of taste to it or whatever. Bluebell yeah. ice cream here in Texas is like a big deal and the the vanilla flavor is like kind of just the standard. Yeah. Um, and I think that a lot of the reasons it's so good is because I think it has that little like cooling vanilla extract that shines through it. Yeah, and it's got the actual little vanilla, the little seeds from the vanilla bean in there that you can see the little black specks that are in their ice cream. So, you know, yeah. they're using true blue vanilla. This is really no. This is really good, actually. I'm I'm probably leaning orange still, just because I'm in. This is both of us. We've always you know said this for a long time, but like I'm more of like the sweet kind of maybe candy flavor yeah. sometimes. So that just makes more sense for yeah. me. But all right, last one is coffee. All right, I'm gonna try this coffee out. This is caramel latte. Now. I don't go to Starbucks and stuff, so I'm not familiar with like what's a latte versus like a coffee versus a cappuccino, frappuccino, I don't mochaccino. Know. I don't really know the difference of all of that. I get black coffee when I go to a coffee spot. Mm. Wow, it's. I think you'll like this one the most. Yeah, I really, I do, because this this is a this is an old man flavor. Oh, and I think you'll love that. No, <laughs> remind you of Werther's or something like that. No, it just like when I say old man flavor, so it is. This is a great. This is great for a huge target demographic because there are a lot of people that enjoy coffee, obviously. Mm. And dude, the caramel the, flavor. I mean, yeah. like the the smell of it is. The caramel comes in later. The coffee punch hits you in the front. It's it's just, it's like a nice bold wow. flavor, dude. Man, that's a good one, huh? Okay. Damn. All oh, right. Yeah. Man. Solid. There was all right. So there's these little boxes, these little metal tins. I think Swiss Miss makes them or, or something. And it's, it's got red and white stripes on it. And I remember my grandma and my mom always used to have these around the house and they would make frozen, like home hacked coffee brews and, and uh, yeah. like frozen frappuccino stuff. That tastes exactly like that. It was an instant coffee mix that was cappuccino flavored or caramel oh, okay. cappuccino yeah, yeah, flavored. Yeah. Those little boxes that are about that big. And man, I just, I drank so much of that as a kid. That tastes exactly like that. Okay, all right, that's the winner for me. That's yeah, it. yeah. All right, one, I, two, three. Maybe I, you know, order. <laughs> I think I like. I, I think, and there's other flavors, by the way, that we don't have all of them. There's just three of them. Okay, we just thought it'd be cool to actually have our initial taste of them. But uh, for me, I'm actually putting the caramel latte up there, number one as well, yeah. because it's just so leaps and bounds above any other coffee flavor protein that I've had. That just it's a, yeah, it's ridiculous. It doesn't taste like protein. It just tastes ridiculously good. Um, the orange cream is going to be second because I'm a little bit more of that like candy sweet guy and then mm -hmm. diner vanilla next, but all of them are, are really great. What's cool is that you get this creamy texture, which is not common with an isolate. Yeah, it's, it's thicker. It kind of coats your palate and your mouth and everything. It, it's, a, it's a pleasurable sensation. Pleasurable sensation. Pleasurable sensation. All right, guys, uh, that's going to be it. Do me a huge favor down below in the description. I'm going to have a link. So if you want to check out Isolate, uh, there is a blog post that he actually put together. We did a description yeah. video so you can read all the details. This wasn't necessarily about breaking it all down like that. But you can also purchase the product at primevillabs.com. Mm -hmm. Links are there. 
We'll see you guys next time. Please subscribe. Now we're gonna go and I'm gonna go finish my Modelo and tequila shots and I'm gonna probably get a couple more fucking tacos.